57-year-old Salah al awuri was the deputy leader of Hamas, the second in command of that terrorist organisation. He was heavily involved in military operations and planning and he had been living in Lebanon for some time, acting as a conduit between Hamas and the Lebanese militia group Hezbollah, which also backs Hamas. Now, what we know about this incident is still unfolding, but um, Hamas says that uh, he was inside a Hamas building inside Beirut when it was hit by an Israeli airstrike. Now, Israel hasn't commented on that allegation, but an Israeli government politician has posted on social media attributing this as an Israeli assassination, assassination and congratulating Israeli security forces. Now, as I mentioned, this was in southern Beirut, which is an area that hasn't been hit for a long time. And Al Al Ruri is the most senior Hamas official to have been killed since the October 7 attacks. It's significant for a number of reasons. One, because this is the first targeting of a Hamas official outside of Palestinian territories since the October 7 attack. And secondly, as I was mentioning, this is in a Hezbollah area, southern Beirut. And so far in this conflict, we've seen skirmishes between Hezbollah and Israel, mainly confined to that Israel-Lebanon border. So there are significant fears that this could lead to a massive escalation. Hezbollah in the past has said attacks on Beirut would be crossing a red line and it would ne uh, necessitate uh, significant retaliation. So uh, people in Israel and also in Lebanon tonight quite anxious to see how this is going to progress and Israeli security forces are saying they are on high alert for any responses including the possibility of long-range missiles being fired at Israeli targets.